Maisha Hogan. Welcome again to the Chakra House of Healing. Today we have natural health consultant, Dr. Amira Ayad. I want to welcome you to coming to the show today. Thank you. And thank you so much for bringing all of your wonderful knowledge with you today. I'm really, really glad that you're here. Um, you used to be a pharmacist. Yeah. So now you're, this is a far cry. What you're doing right now is like so far from being a pharmacist. Can you share um, what made you change your course? Well, it started when I had my first son and uh, I took a leave from uh, pharmacy. I was teaching at the faculty of pharmacy at the time. Okay. I took a leave and I sat at home and I drove my husband crazy. <laughs> so yeah, he suggested <laughs> that I study something. Right? I studied nutrition and I found a lot of answers that uh, pharmacy didn't have. Right. And I decided to actually dig deeper into natural health right. and I never looked back. That's great. I know. I love it. I love it. I mean, I just do essential oils. I mean, I just work with essential oils and I love that. So I can't even imagine like how much further you are able to take that. That's so great. So in your practice, you embrace both the scientific side and the emotional and the spiritual side. How are you able to do that? Well, I believe that um, no herb or supplement can fix a woman's life or a woman's broken marriage. Okay. Uh, and at the same this time... True. If your body chemistry, biochemistry is not working, if you're missing the building blocks that makes uh, the uh, amino acids, the vitamins, the minerals, the building blocks that makes the body, also the body won't be working. So we need both sides. There is right. the science, the biochemistry, and we need the emotional, spiritual side. And I do both based on, basically, I just mm, combine the best of both worlds. Right. Yeah, the science with the emotional, spiritual. That's, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. I always get so fascinated with everything that everybody's doing and how they're just building holistic into everything, and I just love it. Um, who is the typical client that comes to you, to your clinic, and how do you help them? Uh, well, I, um, I have a range of clients. First, uh, the client who come to me with a list of chronic illness and a list of prescription medication that have built uh, along the years and they are tr feeling worse and they are adding to the medication, yep. adding to yep. the dose and it, it, it's not working. So right. here um, w we're trying to reach the cause, not just fix the, uh, just uh, mask the symptoms, the symptoms right. not the mask the symptoms. We need to reach the cause, why it started, how it started and right. what's not working. Another uh, group of clients I see is the clients that come with autoimmune disease. Then right. these are given basically no hope from the conventional medicine. Uh, this is what you got. This is, you have to live with the de debilitating symptom for the rest of your life and it's, which will, is not will true. will get worse from right. here. And yeah, this is not true. So here again, we're digging for the root cause and we're trying to find why the body is turning against that. Again, from physical, emotional and spiritual side, both all, all sides of the human being. So are, are you finding, and I'm, I'm just going to get off topic here for just one second, not really, but so when, when there's like viral infections, mm -hmm. you know, a virus, someone's got a virus, and usually the doctors will say, you just have to let that run its course mm -hmm. because no antibiotic that they're giving you is able to penetrate the cell where the virus is, yep. right? So I already know, like with the essential oils that I use, mm -hmm. that I can penetrate the cell mm -hmm. and get into the virus. Mm -hmm. Is that similar to what you're doing? Uh, a bit. So, uh, basically, what I'm doing is giving the body what it needs, so the body itself will do the healing. So, right. where in case of virus, for instance, where the main problem will be the immunity. Why the immunity? I can be subjected to a virus, and another person subject to a virus, he gets no disease, and I get disease. Right. So, why my body is vulnerable to this virus? Okay. This is what we do. We give the body what it needs, so it can do the healing itself. Right. Yeah. So great. So great. I always get so fascinated. Every question makes me excited. <laughs> okay, so talk to me about the latest book, Body Whispers. Okay, this is uh, basically Body Whispers mean um, it's uh, our body send us some message, some subtle messages, some subtle warning all the time. Yes. That something is not working quite as it should be and okay. on our emotional level or on mental level, physical level. And most of us just brush it off. We ignore this, this 
this little thing until they become scream and then yes. they go to the conventional medicine. Right. So body whisper is about finding or learning to listen to these whispers before they come, as they become scream. How to right. yeah, find the root cause of So that. just being sort of in tune with your body, being in tune with your mind, understanding what's happening, and if something's sort yeah. of saying, help me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can get to it quicker yeah. than having to go and take all those medications. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so um, I understand that you also teach workshops. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I teach workshop. Basically, I teach women how to listen, how to apply this body whisper. I have, I get lots of women who come to me. They, they under lots of stress. A normal, normal life. No, uh, stress, anxiety, fatigue. They are just. They feel that more in life, they can enjoy life more. They need to enjoy life more, but it's just. They're just living. They're not enjoying. Right. And this is what we do. Again, they are working on their deeper core, what the body needs, what the emotional need, and how to live a passionate life, how to enjoy pleasure in their life, what's their unique need. And we're, we work from here. And I think that I find that it's always sort of women between 30 and 55. We spend our lives being nurturers and looking after everybody else and putting our own needs and our own wants. Yeah. And if something's hurting us or whatever, we don't really deal with it. As long as our family is okay and our children are yeah. okay and our husband is okay, yeah. we just say, I'll deal with that pain or that ache or whatever, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah, and we're faced with the scream after 55. <laughs> that's right. <Yeah>. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take us right now to a Zen break. And we'll come back and talk a little bit more about Body Whispers. Off to a Zen break. Hi everyone, my name is Tree. I'm a certified yoga instructor as well as a hypnotist and an NLP practitioner. I'm here to talk to you today about being a little bit more adventurous in your life. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, we can all get stuck in our patterns or routines of just waking up, brushing our teeth, going to work. And I would definitely suggest to try something different. I mean, I'm not talking about skydiving, but maybe doing something, going to a different restaurant or driving a new way to work. Just these tiny little changes in your life will actually increase your brain activity and be really great for your overall health. So be adventurous and have fun. <laughs> and if you want to contact me, it's tree at healthlocal.ca or you can just go to healthlocal.ca and find anything else health related in Canada. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Welcome back from the Zen break. Now you have a gift for the, our viewers today. Can you tell us what about that? Yeah, this is an ebook that they can download from my website. It's Heal Your Body, Nurture Your Soul. This is basically my most essential seven tips to live healthy and happy. So it deals with the physical body, with the emotional health, with mental health, how to actually improve all this on all levels. That's great. And what would one of the tips be? Uh, well, I'll mention one of the tips that related to this body okay. whisper. So okay. it's listen. You need to listen to this warning. Deep inside, our body knows what it means. Yes. Our soul knows what it means. So we just need to listen. And just follow what what you you are meant to do what you are meant to be yes and i think sometimes it's just um putting yourself first yes yeah you uh, know I, and, I, and not pushing it off to the side exactly learn to love yourself yes nurture yourself. Yeah. E excellent excellent okay. thank you for all the wonderful things that you do and how you're sharing it with everybody thank um you. we're all grateful thank you so much thank you so much off to the clinic Hi, thank you for watching this episode of the Chakra House of Healing. First, I'd like to thank our sponsors for all the wonderful work that they do. I'd like to thank you for being here. I ask you to please subscribe to the show, send in your comments and your questions, get a hold of me at www.thechakrahouseofhealing.com. And don't forget that we're not only a web talk show, I'm also a clinic and I look after hypnosis, both clinical and metaphysical, as well as being a Reiki master. I do reflexology and spiritual coaching. I look forward to hearing from you either regarding the show or coming in and starting your spiritual journey. Thank you again.
see you next time.